I will start with a little bit of a walk through the storyboarding process and, and our storyboarding tool. Then I will go to the 3D part of Storyboard 3D. Okay, we will create a demo here, a project. And you can create from predefined template different type of resolution, aspect ratios. There is no, and you can create your own means that you can, actually one of the key important points of Storyboard <coughs> is that Storyboard was our first product that we actually designed it to work for different type of production, not just animation. It can be used for CGI, it can be used for live action, it can be used for games. That is actually a product that can have multiple use in the industry of production. Now for sure there is a lot of functionality that works really nice between Storyboard and the rest of the Tugum products, but it's important to say that the storyboard itself is a product that can be used by itself and you, depending on the type of industry that you are, you can actually, in advertising, we have, we have a lot of advertising agencies that are using our storyboard as a fast way to, to show to the client the ideas that they are working. Is that, let's go a little bit and work on that. Like we create a couple of panels here. Basically the concept here of the storyboard is that you have a pencil, you have a panel on the top, and, by, and on the bottom part you have certain caption areas in which you can actually type dialogues or action notes. Here, for example, I can just create some uh, mountains. So you see, they're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and here on the bottom part, we can say, we can start typing a dialogue saying, once upon a time, and we can have our script directly inside the storyboard. We can bring the script using any text word a application or actually we can use Final Draft and incorporate all the information from Final Draft means that that became to be a really nice pipeline. Pe uh, studios that are using Final Draft automatically the storyboard can get created and automated. You can keep drawing like this panel by panel like if it was a piece of paper or you can go to another view and actually this one is much more artistic friendly because uh, you can draw a little bit bigger here. You can, you can do a character here like and we can use some tools like Rotary Light Table. Now, the software itself, as I was mentioned, is something that it, it has a really powerful tools. And one of the concepts of the powerful tools is that you can create something and you can store it in a library. And actually, you can just select that and start reusing it. it means that people that are doing storyboards in paper, normally they end up going to the photocopy, they take the photocopy, they scale it down, they put it on the panel, they erase it, they put another post it on top and they, and you end up with a with a storyboard with a lot of paper and a lot of post it and notes around. The advantage with this with the storyboard application is that actually all of that tools are integrated and they're really simple to use. It means that someone can just draw and sketch a drawing like this, store it on the library, or let's create a couple of additional panels here. And I can create a my character here, bring in the character with a couple of shadows and I actually like this I just have it in the system and I can actually select a camera and ask the system that I wanted to create a, a fast camera move and it's as easy as to select a panel here I can just select my first frame I say that I wanted to start on the left side and as you see as soon as I move the frame automatically there are some arrows that shows how the movement is going to happen and then I will select my last point. I can actually even rotate this, scale it a little bit like that. And if I play that panel, automatically I can see a really fast animatic of that. It means that actually the storyboard gives you one step forward, just not from doing just simple drawings to go to the layout and start doing the part of the animatic directly inside the application. It's really simple to use, as you saw, the camera. And actually, if I create an additional panel, something that I was mentioned before is that you can actually bring elements that may be created in another software like Photoshop. Or actually, pictures. You can actually bring pictures and use pictures directly <laughs> to the software. It means that it's really, really fast to incorporate different elements, multimedia elements, put it inside the application, and work directly there and have all your, uh, all your elements ready to be presented, what you, you call a storyline. 